this lipstick looks mad bright <laughs> this lipstick looks mad bright on me right now like I, the camera is like giving it everything when it's really not that serious but anyway Don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. Oh no no. Oh no no. Don't do it to me. Oh no no. Oh no no. Don't do it to me. Oh no no. Oh no no. Don't do it to me. Oh no no. Hey, but did you know that we have a huge Ulta haul? Yes. Hi, you guys. So today, I have a haul for you. Yes, I have several different hauls for you, but this one is, in particular, is very, very special, okay? Because I went to the Ulta store for the first time in three years. I know. I've been, I've... I haven't been to the Ulster store um, in three years, only because the last time I was there, I was with my mom. And here is my dog. She wants to say hi, but I don't know. She's doing some weird thing. Mm. What? She wanted to say hi? Yes, I got her a haircut because it's getting, um, was it? Um, it's getting higher, but then again, it's getting cold here, so. Georgia weather is just backwards, okay? Now, what is it you want to tell me? Nothing? Oh, why am I talking to you like you're actually going to say something back to me? Like, yeah. But yeah, she had a haircut, so anyway, she wanted to say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Hey. Like I said, I haven't been in the Ulta store in about three years, just because the last time I was there, I was with my mom, and as some of y'all know, three years ago, no, is it three? Well, it's going to be three this year, Um, but two and a half years ago, you know, whatever. But anyway, so I was out of town recently and I decided to go to the Ulta store um, when I found out there was an Ulta there and I was like, we have to go. It's destiny. So I went and I picked up a, a, cup, a couple of things. A couple. Okay. No, not all of this is from one single trip. It's actually two separate trips, but I just put them in one separate bag. Well, one huge bag, so yeah. Okay, so the first thing I got when I went there the first time, I was actually kind of looking for this. I've been looking for this for like months, but then I found it, and it is the Lorac Pro to Go palette. This is the eyes and cheek palette that came out, Um, I think early winter or early fall but this is what it looks like in all its glory oh, put it back in the box but you know whatever so this is what the palette looks like in all its glory it did come with two brushes but i took them out because they are really really tiny like i didn't understand that but i love the mirror size in here and he comes with six different eyeshadows. Three of them are shimmery and three of them are matte. And yeah, and I love this um, shade in the shade Chai. It is so pretty on me. I love it. And then you have three, well you have two blushes and a bronzer. One of them is actually shimmery and then this pink one is matte and then you have a matte bronzer. Um, unfortunately, I cannot really do too much contouring with this bronzer, but I can definitely warm up my foundation if it's too light um, with this bronzer. So, yeah, and then, this would be great for if I'm like traveling for like, say like the weekend or something like that. And I just want a nice, simple, easy, I don't have to think about look. Um, I can get something like this. Or if I want a simple, like, date night look, I can get something out of this. So, that's why I got it. Okay, so, I don't know about you, but I have this terrible habit of when my nails chip when I'm out of town or I'm just somewhere else. And my nails chip, oh, it is, it pains me because I do so well to keep my nails um, nice and then um, and painted and everything and then when I go out on a trip and they chip it's just like my OCD kicks in and I can't even like I automatically think my hands are ugly I'm like oh my gosh I have to take nail polish off so I technically I end up buying a whole bunch of nail polish remover for no reason so then I was at Ulta and I was at the counter and I seen this little guy here this is the OPI Petty um, Refresh Pack. This right here is super cool. First off, you have three different lotions in here. One of them is specifically for your feet, and two of them are two different scents. One is like tropical, and the other one is like 
cucumber ish or whatever you have a clear polish in here and this clear polish is a three-in-one polish it is a base coat a strengthener and a top coat so all in one you also which is my favorite part get a little mini nail polish remover or it's called the expert touch lacquer remover which is just nail polish remover um but i'm so happy that i got a little bottle of nail polish remover and i think this is airplane friendly i'm not sure i have to check and see but i can store my nail polish remover in here or any of my favorite ones whenever this one runs out and I have nail polish remover forever and then it comes with these cute little OPI toe separators so you can do your little pedicure and everything and then it here's here's the kicker you have nail polish remover pads so I don't have to go out and buy cotton rounds for real I have pads for days so yes I did try this out because my nails did chip and I was like well let me try this out since I bought it and the nail polish remover I believe is acetone because it worked too well and then um the pads it just it took off all my nail polishes just so, just put it that way one pad can get one hand off so um I'm kind of sold on this I really like it speaking of OPI I probably got a little bit cray with the nail polish section it's a habit I can't help myself so I've got five different nail polishes three of them are from the new OPI collection called Brazil and basically it's nothing but nice warm um, colors they also have a dark they have dark colors too but they have like this bright warm tropical colors that's kind of like inspired by carnival a little bit but not really so these are the three that are from the Brazil collection. This coral shade right here, it looks red on camera, but it's really just like a corally red. This is in the shade Live Love Carnival. And yeah, he's cute. This baby doll bright pink kind of reminds me of Nicki Minaj pink. Like if I can think about if it kind of reminds me of the nail polish from OPI when Nicki Minaj had her own set of nail polishes this with this color as I think it's um, called Pink Friday over there um, but this one is in the shade kiss me I'm Brazilian and she is just a nice neon Nicki Minaj pink this one is a fun orange color which hello it is a trend this year um, I, I wear it orange year round but um, I specifically wear it like in the summertime and towards the end of spring and yeah this one is in the shade two can do it if you try um, I think that's so cute you know like the two can Sam it's a bird two can try it to get it knee slapper anyway this is just a creamsicle orange color it's really pretty and I like it the other two OPI nail polishes, I think these are permanent in the line. I got one in the shade, You're Such a Budapest, and this is just a nice periwinkle purple shade, and it's super pretty, and it is slightly metallic, I think, um, but when you put it on your nails, it doesn't seem metallic, but um, it has some shimmer in it, but... Yeah, it's just like a lilac color. It's super pretty. I'm really into like blues and like turquoises. I think um, blue is like my power color. And um, I just, I don't know. I feel some type of way when I wear like blues and turquoise. I don't know. I feel fun and, and just, I don't know. Man, this mint green one is in the shade Gargantuan Green Grape. So it's just like a mint green type of color. Um, so that's those. Oh, gosh, the spritz got in my face. <laughs> I also bought some NYX stuff. I kind of went ham in the NYX department of things. And I had already recently bought these um, Infinity Shadows, as y'all remember from my other huge haul. I bought these Infinity Shadows, and I didn't know how I felt about them at first. But now I'm kind of minorly upset because this staying power is beyond amazing so I had to get two more and I got them in shades that I probably would wear 90 point 99.4 percent of the time okay because I change up my look a lot I don't really have a signature this is my go-to like you see how this is my face right now this is usually what if I can't think of anything else this is usually what I'm wearing but 99.4 or 5 percent of the time um 
I always switch up my look. But this one is in the shade bronze, which is just a nice bronzy color. And that's what that looks like. It's just a nice bronze color. Like, it's super shiny. I like it. And then I got this one in the shade chocolate, which is just like a chocolatey brown color. And it's matte. So, you can definitely use this. Like, if you just want to use these by itself, you can definitely use this like as an outer V. And darken it up. And all that lovely jazz. So, so from NYX, I picked up some waterproof um, lip liners. These are the retractable ones. I first owned these, I first found out about these through Holt Look. I had got like a pack of them and I really liked them so I picked up two more and they are pink. Um, I should have got a brown one but I was like in a pink mood when I got these so yeah. This first light one here is in the shade Pretty in Pink and it's just a very bright baby pink. Just a very, very bright baby pink. I don't know if y'all can see this. But it's just a very bright baby pink. Then I got this one in the shade Grapefruit. And it's just a kind of like a fresh pink. That's about all I can say. It is the pinkest of the pinks. Like, if you can think of pink, it will be like that. Not the bright one. But it's just like a nice, simple, original, true pink. So, yeah. So, I also picked up three more of the Butter Lipsticks from NYX. And these are the three here. As, of course, you can see, I'm really in the mood for summer. Okay, so, yeah. I'm going to swatch um, video on these so you can see what they look like on my lovely lips. But, um, yeah. So, I got three of these. One of them I'm wearing right now, which is this orange one here. <laughs> um, this orange one is in the shade Hot Tamale, and it is just a true bright orange. I'm just going to retouch real quick. That's what it looks like. It's just a very bright orange. Um, I love orange in the spring and summer, but mostly summer just because it just, it's like, red basically for spring and summer so I, I really I every time you'll probably see me majority of the time in this type of season I'm usually wearing a bright lip and it's usually orange or red so yeah speaking of red I have this one in the shade big cherry and it's just a fun cherry red just a fun cherry red like it kind of has like a blue tone under underneath it but it's just a nice cherry red then I got this deep dark red because I'm still like okay it the trend in the south is kind of like what I've been seeing so far in my sector is just dark lips still and I think they're so pretty and it's just a certain dark red. it can't be just like a purple it gotta be like deep mahogany or burgundy or ox blood um red and this one is like an ox blood more like a burgundy red and this one is in the shade mary jane and my dog is probably barking at the mailman because i have a package coming so yeah so that's what that looks like it's just it looks very bright but it's not that bright it's just a nice true red and i love dark lip steel um i think it's just more i don't know it just looks so pretty to me like i'm, I'm obsessed with them Okay, so this is the only NYX products that I did not get at Ulta. I actually got this at CherryCouture.com, which kind of has all of the NYX products you can think of, even some down to the new ones, and all of Milani stuff. If you're wondering where sometimes I get Milani stuff that are not in stores or they don't sell it anymore, it is because I find it on CherryCouture.com. And... I just, I love the site a lot. So I'll leave the link down below if you're curious. These three are totally new. I usually check on Cherry Couture every so often. Like, I don't go on there all the time. I check on it, and then I found out that I always picked out the new tab in um, all of my favorite brands. So I picked the new tab, and these were in there. And I was like, what are these? I have to get, like, three of them. So these are the NYX Chunky Dunk hydrating lippies basically it's just a jumbo lipstick um basically and um i got them in three different shades got this one in the shade rum punch and it's just a mauve color these things go on really really sheer 
so that's me building it up so you can see it but it is just a nice kind of like darky pink color and of course I cannot stay away from reds I got this one in the shade cherry smash if you are a type of girl who's scared of color these will be great because they don't have that much pigment in them but they're hydrating so that is cherry red up on the top and I got a another type of red but more like an orangey red this one is called sex on a beach Ooh la la so so scandalous Nyx but that is sex on the beach and it's just like an orangey red color so yeah I found these on cherrycouture.com once again um I don't know if they hit Ulta yet um because I really wasn't looking for them <laughs> um I wasn't looking for them and if I did come across them I probably would have picked up more colors so that's that so when I was in the store, I did pick up the NYX Invisible um, Fullest Coverage Foundation. This one is in the shade Honey Beige. This is how I have mixed feelings about this foundation. I can only give you like a summary of how I'm feeling about this foundation. Well, I basically kind of like cheat. A cheat sheet about this foundation um, it dries to a satin matte finish aka a natural finish so if you don't like naturals or finishes don't get this foundation the consistency is kind of like an air whipped foundation um, so it's kind of like an air whipped so it's it's kind of weird it blends weird I just I I haven't played with it enough to give you like a full analysis but so far it is just a very weird product that I'm obsessed with the finish. I love the finish of it. It's just a very weird product to work with. So, that's that. And it gives you medium to full coverage. So, it's not the fullest of the full. It just gives you, like, medium to full coverage. Also, I came across the Rimmel section. And I was like, ooh, I'm going to try the Stay Matte Foundation. Then, I quickly remembered that... They don't cater to women of color because it is a European brand. Okay, it's based in London, um, so they don't really have to deal with a lot of people that look like us or me per se. Um, so you it, you can't really buy if you're a woman of color. You cannot really buy a foundation within that line just because they don't have the darkest ranges. But I did see the Stay Matte Primer, so I was like. I'm going to try this because I know in the spring and summertime, I can tend to look a little shiny right up in here. So I got the Stay Matte Primer, and it says you can use it alone, under, or over your makeup. Here's my thing about this um, this primer. You have to work super dumb fast with this primer. Like, you can't just dot it all over your face and then call yourself blending it out. It would dry up on you like in two milliseconds so um, I'm still trying to play with it see what method to use with this but so far it's just blending it in sections so yeah I think I got is the Maybelline baby lips moisturizing lip balm this is limited edition this is kind of like their pink collection I guess that they have out and I seen the display in Ulta and I was like oh pink because you know I'm obsessed with pink so it was only right that I got this bad boy so I got this in the shade pop of pink and basically it's just it looks like it's just a nice fun poppy pink but um, I, I love the packaging so much that I had to pick it up so kind of biased about this just because I'm obsessed with pink Okay, so the last thing that I got, because I had to save the best for last, I picked up the infamous... Uh, yes, I picked up the infamous Urban Decay Electric Palette. Uh, Urban Decay has kind of just been doing its thing recently, and... I wasn't originally going to get this palette. I seen um, a lot of people review it, do swatches and everything. I was like, oh, it's a gorgeous palette, but really, what am I going to use that palette for? And plus, I kind of have a palette that's similar to this. So I was just like, what? When am I, when am I ever going to use this palette? Then I actually seen it in person, and I was like, well, 
I have to get it now because look at the packaging. Look at it. It is so gorgeous and shiny and I love the water um, color paint on here and I'm just, I'm more obsessed with the packaging than the actual shadows. So I've done a couple of looks with these already. If you follow me on Vine, I had like a sunny type of look or Instagram. I had a sunny type of look and then when I did my Ipsy unboxing video, I had more like a peacock, dark, smoky type of eye. And yeah, this is what it looks like. Ah. This camera is giving it everything. Um, but it's not as bright as it seems on here. The camera is making it super, super bright. Um, well, the camera is picking up a lot of the color, but it's not as bright as in person. My favorite color that I'm obsessed with is Chaos because I love Cobalt Blue. Like, I can look at it all day. Like, I just, oh, I'm obsessed with Cobalt Blue. Um, I don't wear it that much, but I, I'm obsessed with it. I love the mirror. Okay, I love the mirror because if you can sit it, you can sit it like this and the mirror won't fall back. So it's on like a little hinge, and that's great. Um, these are press pigments these are pressed pigments and oh i love them um on in my ipsy bag on opening i was wearing savage and fringe which fringe is just nothing but like a teal and savage which is just a hot poppy pink and let me tell you something about savage savage oh my gosh I had the my savage stained my eyes and this was me putting on primer okay I put on primer I put on eyeshadow primer I must have not put enough on okay and it stained my eyelids so be careful with savage some of these colors they say don't put it in the immediate eye area and that is because it will stain if you don't prime it right and everything so that's that but this palette is super gorgeous um it did come with a brush i have it up here in my ghetto fide tree thing because i washed my brushes the other day so i got it hung up in my ghetto fide tree thing but it's just a purple double-ended brush which urban decay is known for with their palettes to give you a double-ended brush um or you know anything but that's what it looks like now remember I said in my Ipsy bag video that um, I got the Urban Decay Black Velvet 24-7 liner and I was like, well, this is awkward. Um, the reason why it's awkward is because I already have one and I got it for free when I purchased the Urban Decay Electric Palette. So I got two of them. I was like, wow, this is awkward. Okay, I could have just waited. But it is a new line of um, eyeliners that Urban Decay is coming out. Um, they're called 24-7 Velvets. And basically they are just plush, just matte eyeliners. And... The difference between these and the other ones is they give you a, this one gives you an option to smudge it out. And once it sets, it's there. <laughs> it's not going nowhere. So, yeah, I got it in the shade Black Velvet. This is the, the just the blackest of the black eyeliners that I own that is matte. Like, I was like, what in hell? Look at that! Like, it's just like ink black. I love it. I love this liner. Like, I might actually have to go get the full size because I'm a little bit obsessed with this liner. Okay? So, that's why I was able to tell you that I like the liner anyway. So, I was happy that I got it in my bag. So, I have two of them now. And uh, it is just like super black. And, you know, you can smudge it out if you want to. And it's already trying to set itself but you can have the option to smudge it out and then once it's set it is set so I kind of am a little bit obsessed with the liner sorry okay so that is the end of my Ulta haul um let me know in the comment section below what you would like to see next as far as videos or if any of these products you would like to see a review or a demo for. Um, and yeah, so other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I upload on a daily. Every single week there is going to be a video on my channel. So make sure you are subscribed so you do not miss a single video. Also, if you're wondering if I have a, if I have a social life outside of YouTube, I definitely do. Follow me on all of my social media sites down below. 
below and if you're really curious to see what I'm doing follow me on Vine because I kind of do like little funny skits and vlogs and all the other stuff but yeah so if you're wondering um, just go ahead and follow all of my social media sites down below that is all I have to tell you guys thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in my next video bye